Here we have another problem where we want to find out the number of solutions. We have side side angle. By the way, um, if, we, if we have the problem that has two given angles, then you don't have to actually do this process. The only time we have to worry about if you have one or two solutions is if you're taking an inverse sign. If you have two out of the three angles given, then you already know what the, the uh, third one's going to be. You don't have to use any inverses on that. So this process here really only applies for the side side angle situation when you only have one angle that's provided. So now let's start um, by seeing how many solutions this one's going to have by setting up our known ratio. We're going to do sine 40 over 4 is going to equal sine c over 5. We have to solve for c first because we don't have enough information to solve for a. We're going to solve this one for sine c. So sine c is going to be 5 sine 40 over 4 if you solve for that. And then that decimal in the calculator is going to be 0 0.8035 with some more decimals there. You want to solve for C by taking the inverse. And remember your calculator only is going to give you one of the possible answers. It always will give you the answer in the first quadrant. So if we take the inverse sign of this number, 0 0.8035, you're going to get the first solution uh, 53.46 degrees. Remember that you're always going to get a secondary solution. You want to subtract from 180 and that's going to give you this secondary solution and I'll just write it down here 126.54 degrees so here's the first one 53.46 second one is 126.54 now we have to check to see if we have one or two solutions so as I mentioned in the previous video the process is you take your secondary solution the one the calculator did not originally give you the one in the second quadrant you take that answer you add it to the angle that's already in the triangle. If you get something that's more than 180, then you know for sure that you're only going to have, uh, in this case, one solution. However, this time, 126.54 added to 40, that now gives you something that's less than 180. So because of that, that actually tells us now we really do have uh, two solutions on this. Again, 126 point plus 40, that gives you something less than 180. So you know for sure you're going to have uh, two solutions. Well, let's find the A1 and A2 for each case. So again, uh, for each of these, we've already done all this already and we found our two solutions we have written down there. So here's how you find out the other answers. For this one, you're going to take 180 minus 40 minus 53.56 because really you have this is this angle right here. So if you have two out of the three angles to track from 180, you'll get your A1 answer there, which is going to be 86. 54 degrees. If you want to find this one, then you're going to do 180 minus 40 minus 126.54. That's going to get you this other corresponding answer of 13.46 degrees. So here's one triangle. One triangle we have, this one was 86.54, uh, C was 53.46. So here's one triangle that we have. We're going to try and solve for A1. Now I'm going to go ahead and redraw the second triangle. Now you don't have, it's not necessary for you to, to do this. I'm just going to show you visually what's actually happening here. I still have my B, C, and my A. Okay, and, and this is still going to be 40 degrees. This is still 5, and this is still going to be 4. We found uh, these other angles. A this time is 13.46, and your C is 126.54. Uh, 54. Now we're trying to solve this for A2. So here's our two different triangles uh, that we have. What you need to do is you have to figure out uh, the A1 and A2 separately by doing two different equations. We're still going to use the law of sines. We're just going to do that uh, with the information provided for each triangle. Let's look at this one first. Now for this one, we'll start with our known ratio, sine 40 over 4. That's this one originally, and I want to solve for A1, which means I need to use 86.54 degrees. So therefore, what I'm going to do is that's going to be sine of 86.54. That's going to be over uh, A1. And if I solve for this, my A1 is equal to 4 sine 86.54 degrees all over sine 40. And that's going to give you 6.21 if you put that into a calculator. That's going to be the answer for the first triangle. Now because we're taking the side now and swinging it in, we should expect that our second answer for A2 should be smaller than 6.21. So let's uh, check it out and just verify that. We're going to do another ratio here. Sine 40 over 4 is going to equal 
This time, the angle across from A2 is 13.46. So we're going to do sine of 13.46 over A2. Once again, we're going to cross multiply. We get 4 sine 13.46 all over sine of 40 degrees. And if we do that, we get 1.45 as the answer. So clearly, you can see definitely that that's going to be swung in more and it passes pi even exaggerated in even more so than the way I drew it here because 13 is not a very big angle. So you can definitely tell again that it's going to be a, uh, a smaller side there because you're swinging that side in. So therefore now we have the triangle solved. It is going to be two solutions because again we verified that uh, here 126 plus 40 is that something that's less than 180. So we did verify that in fact you, do, you are going to have uh, two solutions we solved and we got all the missing sides and angles for each triangle separately.